Hey YouTube, today we're going to learn how to create and use a Turbo Lister template. Now there are a couple different ways you can create templates within Turbo Lister. Now you'll want to be clear that there are differences between templates and items. Templates are going to be created when you have a lot of similar information that you want to use over and over again. Maybe you have the same category, um, maybe you have the same PayPal information, the same description information within a certain style of item. That's when you're going to want to create templates because you can create items out of those templates and that information will already be filled in. You don't want to use templates and fill it completely out and use that as a template. Basically, you're just wanting generic information that's going to be applicable to a certain set of items. One of the ways you can create a new template is to go up to the new starburst button and do create new template. That's going to generate this blank template that you can fill out and then you would save it. Another way you can create templates is to go up to your file menu, new, template. Again, it brings up a blank template. A third way you can create templates is to go to an item and use an item as a template. Now, maybe you already have an item that has the majority of the information you want to have filled out in there, and that's why you would be able to create a template from an item. To do that, you double click on one of your items. And then down here you have Save as Template. If you click this, Basically what happens is you're going to create an exact replica of this and it's going to be saved as a template. If you're saving an item as a template, you're going to want to make sure that unless you plan on using the same images, that you remove any images from your templates. Because otherwise it's just a big pain if you create an item from a template, you're going to have to remove them anyway. It's just best to start out with a blank template. So let's create a template. Uh, we'll just call it test template. Let's see. We'll put a category in here that we've already used. Because maybe I want to create a bunch of test auctions. You can select your store categories. Basically, a lot of this information here is just going to be generic. So. And again, typically we don't type into the description builder area here because this is where your HTML goes. You'd want to click into description builder. This is just for just for show. With templates, you don't have to have all of your information filled out before you save. So let's say that you don't want to put any shipping information in or payments or dates or anything like that. Once you have just your generic information, maybe you have your category, maybe you have your returns policy set, whatever it is. Once you have that, just click save. Now, when you're ready to use your template and create an item, you're going to highlight your template and click item from template. Another way you could do this is to go up to this new button, create items from template. If you have multiple templates, it's going to generate here. You can select the template that you want to use. Let's go ahead and select item from template. It's going to prompt you to save it in a folder. So you'd select which folder you want to save it to. We're going to keep it My Items. Click OK. And as you can see, the information that we filled out earlier is already here. So now we can do little things like, you know, tweak the title, put the images in that are pertinent to this particular listing, the dollar amount, things like that. So the you know, the minutia of the listing that makes it different from any other listing, that's the kind of thing that you would be placing now. Now when you click Save, as you can see, if you don't have the required information in for items, it's going to give you errors. So I could put the start price in and try to click Save again, it's going to tell me I don't have a handling time or shipping filled out. So that's the key difference between items and templates. Templates, you don't have to have all your information, items you do. And then when you're done filling out your template and you have all the required information, click Save, 
it's going to save to your inventory, whatever folder you saved it to, and then you have an item ready to be uploaded to the eBay website. Keep watching for more videos on how to stock up your eBay arsenal.